Hello, hello, hello. We are back. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Anderson TV. I'm Pete. I'm Digital John. Oh, let me do that again. <coughs> ah, Digital John. All right, <coughs> take five. Hello, hello, hello. We are back. Hello, hello, hello. Wasn't that a series <laughs> on uh, something close? Anyway, welcome to Anderson TV. I'm Pete. And I'm Digital John. And it was just called Hello, hello. Digital John. Not Hello, hello, hello. Uh, <laughs> anyway, you're probably too young to remember that. I have no idea what I was on about. Yeah. No. <laughs> Do you remember Hello Hello? You uh, comment in the comment section below. Take it out. There's a series about some French people. Timestamps below and all that stuff down there. Hit the notification bell. Anyway, yeah. let's move on. Because it's surprise day today. We have a new little bit of kit of the digital realm. Actually, little. It's little, isn't it? It's mini little. It's, and it's, it's a hot one. Yeah, oui. It's a hot one. <laughs> oui. It's the new Ampero uh, Mini. From Hoton. Yeah. I oh, was at Hot One. They don't, I don't hot one. know still. Hot, hot On. Hot On? Hot On E. Hot anyway, On. Anyway, Hoton, Hoton, whatever. Um, this new bit of kit, one of five, six colours? One, two, three, four, six colours. We should unbox this <sighs> yeah. and just show first impressions and then plug it in. Yeah, so you did the Ampero, didn't you, with Lee? Ampero 2. Yeah, yeah Ampero Nifty two. little white bit of kit. Um, yeah. Great, I absolutely loved it as well. Um, oh. But this now is the mini version. Exactly, and I haven't so. done this before, so again, like we did in the other video, I don't know if you've seen that, if you haven't, then it's probably up there, maybe this is up first. I don't know, because I don't know how these things work anymore. <laughs> I've literally just taken a, step, taken a step back. I want you to tell me and show me how it works, because Lee always does these videos with sure. you, and, yeah. and I don't know anything about that stuff. I, you know, I like to know what's going on in the world of gadgets, <laughs> music gadgets. Unbox it, please. Okay. Let's see what it looks let's, like, because I'm excited see. about this thing. I saw it. the other one, it was pretty cool, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I'll open it for the camera. Here yeah. Go. Oh! Another card. Love a card. There we go. Some instructions. Um, instructions, <clears throat> how to get started. Oh, that's so, a nice... That was just super small. Oh, we've dropped something already. Oh, a little... Uh, what are they called? They have a name, don't they? Pedal... Pedal like Pedal poppers. Pedal, that's what You know what happens when you do a popper. Pedal flight, we're going to need that. Uh, USB. We're not going to need that right now. Anyway, oh, it's quite nice in person, that colour, isn't it? In person. It's good. What is that? Matcha? I think yeah. it was called matcha, wasn't it? Oh, it's so... Matcha, matcha, man. <laughs> Sorry. That's so nice and small. That's cool. So yeah, that matcha. Oh, is that open? Sorry. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I thought the box yeah, was like... open. Oh, it's so early. Um, it's not early. No, it's, it's early midday. for you. It's midday. That's tiny. Yeah. That is tiny. So... Can I just, can I just have a little uh, sneak... It's a nice little... Um, Rubber feet on the back there. What inputs and outputs have we got on the back? We've got a volume, you've got a USB-C, well done. It takes 500 milliamps, 9 volt, which means that you can power it off if you've got something like a Fender um, uh, a engine room power supply. So if you've got that, you can stick this on your board. You've got an output, which is a stereo, mono stereo, so you need a TRS cable to do that, which we've got. You've got an input and you've got an expression uh, pedal. What should I say? Three to four? I don't know. But anyway, that's really cool. Volume, man, that's super tiny. Look at that. Yeah. And this goes on top of that. Oh, cute. So you can use them with your big toe. Meep, meep. <laughs> that's really cool, man. Let's get this but, thing on. And there's we? no other knobs or buttons on the top there. Look at that. So it's just the top Nice screen. and clean. Yeah. Wow. Right. Let's plug it in, man. Right. Okay. So let's plug this let's thing power in. Power it on, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> in the back here, because I wanted you to see the screen come on, because it's quite cool. Pop. Pop goes the weasel. Ooh. It's like Ooh. a sci-fi film. And it even got the little uh, thingy going on there, right? So this the is lights. Uh, the lights are shining. <laughs> here we are. Anyway, so I put these little uh, thingies on here, these little diamonds. They, I just think it looks super cool. Yeah. So it's very the layout is very similar to the Veilton we did before. Yeah. Um, and now you can see John's got the guitar, and now I'm literally just going. What's going on here? So you can just mm -hmm. explain to me as you cool. go. But so I'm just saying I'm gonna try and see if I can work this out. There's a little tuner key. Yeah. So far, so, so good. So I just clicked it once, and there's a tuner. Super Close easy. And if I then go back in, if I held it down, I get my drum machine, and I can sync my drums up with the loop. So that's really, really cool. Nice and easy. Yeah. Nice and easy. Uh, and it's a touch screen. And big. it's a touch it's screen. Big. Yeah. And it's really responsive. Let me go back out of that. Back. I can't do that with my big toe. <laughs> um, so let's just, <clears throat> so you you did the video on this. Yep. And um, Same sort of interface as the Ampero 2, but yeah. just with this reduced size and yeah. And there's no turning of the knobs like a, say a-, a Core Cortex or anything. Cortex, yeah. that's really, I like that idea. And the, 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 I like the idea from the Helix that you touch something 
that's a really cool little feature yeah, on the Helix. It, yeah. And you want to swap two things from one to the other, just touch them. That's super yeah. easy as well. So anyway, so I want to see now, just have a listen to this solo. Let's go back to okay. what we're here. So here's pre-111, welcome to Ampero. So this is what they want everyone to hear the thing sound First, like, yeah, essentially, that, you know. So that's... So here we go again. This has always been one of my pet hates, and I can say that you know, it's, this is great, man. Look at it; it's awesome. But why don't why don't they spend a little more time sending this out to people like you, or maybe me, and maybe whoever, and go mm. make me some presets? I want the first ten presets to be really great. So when you plug this into the shop, you go, oh my goodness me, this is great. Mm -hmm. This is just a little bit sort of, you know, generic. Drive with yeah, some stereo kind of delay Marshall on it. with some wet stuff on it. Yeah, yeah, and it's not right. It's I don't get. I'm not like excited about it, right? So let's let's go to the next bit. So I do. I just click there. Yeah. Okay. Sparkling OD. Here we go. Yeah. That's a bit more See, agreeable. It's a yeah. bit more agreeable. Again, you got all these effects on it, but it's yeah, it sounds good. Let's have a listen to the next one. Sefer clean. I like that. See, I like that too. Why can't that be number one? You know what I mean? Yeah, well, yeah. Boost solo. Okay. I mean, let's just use a cheap oldness ball. <laughs> Heavy rhythm. Pure okay. clean. Pure clean. That sounds nice because mm -hmm. that's very to me. That's very non-offensive yeah, yeah. to anyone. Matter of you know, fact, you, you're yeah. like, oh, everybody that buys one of these, I'm gonna have to play a massive, big old rock chord. Maybe not. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Anyway, so I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm clicking into edit yep. mode. I'm getting my effects on. I can choose my amp by doing what? Edit. Okay. Yep. I see that. That's super easy. Um, can I then? Sc I can scroll. Look at that. Oh my god. There's a black twin. See what I did there already? I did. I picked a, a black twin, and all I did was um, I turned the bright channel on, mm -hmm. and I took the bass down ever so slightly, and just go again, just play a bit. So bass down slightly. So already there. I've now made this whole thing, in my opinion, much nicer to listen to than yeah, it was yeah. before, right? Uh, so I'm happy with that, so I go back. So then I want a little bit of uh, reverb, I guess. Reverb, mm -hmm. edit. So easy. Ha! I'm excited Isn't about join this. Join a digital bit of kit again. Yeah, man, again. So let's have a listen to this one. Okay. This is a plate. Nice and wide again. North Star. That's nice, man. Uh, sweet space. Let me just go for some hole here. Trails. You got trails on and off. I like yeah. this. Uh, this outlier is, is super easy. I'm into this. Do you prefer the touch screen? Yeah, nice and tactile. Yeah, I think the touch screen for me, because you know, I can just click there, click there, click there. I want that instead there. of having yeah. that button and go, oh, oh, no, I clicked it and I went over and I have to go on yeah, that yeah. button and I have to go on that. I think this is much more intuitive, yeah. in my opinion. Um, you know, I'd I'm, agree. I'm, I'd agree. I like pictures and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what I've got here, one effects, two effects, three effects, EQ. Let's just go into the EQ setting. So, you so different types of EQs, eh? yeah? Um, what, what, what do you want to do with EQ? I just want to, I mean, it sounds really good as it is. I don't really need any EQ on it, but I know that, for instance, if I, when I'm doing stuff on, a, on the Katana amps, I will go into the editor and then I'll put the EQ on the end. And yeah. I will sort of just take a little bit, I'll put a little bit more low end in, a little bit more top end, do that smiley face a little bit. Yeah. Because especially if you're sitting, if you're sitting at home, you don't want something too kind of like, you know, you need right, that yeah. low end and the brightness just to, to carry you in a little bit when mm -hmm. you're sitting playing on your own, where when you're playing live, you might want to, you might want to do a little hump in the middle so people can hear over the drums and the bass, you know. Yeah. So, but it's just really, it's really cool. So you've got a parametric equalizer. 
let's see, so effects, that's now current, a green drive. Mm -hmm. So how do I, do I just, is that on? Thank you. On, ah, see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be like a boss super. Yeah. yeah. See now we now we into the thing of what is that scream mood? Have, let's have that. <laughs> yeah, man. It sounds great. Yeah. It sounds really good, man. I think I'm really good. Look at me. I'm smiling. I think it sounds great, man. And 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 okay. So let's just save this because now I'm going to see. So I've saved on yep, pure save clean. It there, yep. But I want to go back to the original first preset just to see. Here's uh, your welcome to Amparo. It's very bright. And then we go to we go to uh, you know Danish Pete pure clean here. Yeah, so it's a lot more you. It's good. Let's have a listen again. Sorry, man. I, I'm, no, it's I'm, all good. I'm glad you're enjoying this. <laughs> it's good to see. <laughs> Let's play something different than A chords. Okay, so Os just pointed out actually that you, if I double click this now, which I didn't know, but he could see it on the camera, because I can't see it, I'm blind. You double click something, let's say I want the EQ at the very end, so I've like master EQ. Mm -hmm. I click it twice, and it says position select, I put it here. Tap so now that's in the very, I tap the reverb, which is the end of the chain. So now I can have this on the very end, which I've heard people do on Helix, for instance, when mm -hmm. they do their chain, and then the very end of it, they, they put like a, uh, like either, um, you know, like a um, channel set, select switch or whatever, whatever yeah. it's called on a desk at the end, and they can put bass and treble on it. Clever. You should change the co colors. Go on. Yeah. Red, yeah. green, blue, purple. Oh, purple. <laughs> <laughs> purple? There we go. Are we happy? Yeah. Nice. This is super easy. Oh, I could throw so, that in. You could do like five of them in your gig bag. Like, so, so, so look how small it is. Yeah, easy. And, and it's an amp box. So if you, let's say you have a pedal board and you want the sound guy to have this and you can go out to you know, an AV box into an amp on a stage. Mm -hmm. Vintage rack. So right. we've got a patch going at the minute. Um, yeah. In terms of assigning these two buttons, you're probably thinking there's only two buttons. How do you, you know, control a rig? Well, I'm so glad you asked, because <laughs> in global you've got um, ways you can assign stuff. So you'll see here you've got ins and outs, USB audio, all that kind of stuff. But expression foot switches, you can then essentially have either um, dual foot switches, single foot switches, or Voice. expression. expression. Pad. Yeah. yeah. Um, for this, we're just going to have single foot switch. Yeah. And FS3, which is this one, is going to turn FX2, which we've done as a drive, pretty sure, yeah. on and off. So, yeah. um, you can also do some you know, other routing in the actual control expression stuff, but we're just going to yeah. miss that out for now. And you'll see, we're turning FX2 on and off. So, this should be clean. Oh, oh yeah. let's turn the Sorry, wire off. We've got the wire off here. <laughs> there we go. It's okay. <laughs> Let me just save that without the wire on it. <laughs> I think that's a great sound, man. Oh, really I think good. as a clean, nice and then indeed. as a drive. Let me just let me just refer you back. I'm just gonna save <laughs> that. Let me refer everybody back to. Uh, oh, now so now it's not. So as soon as we assign that, it'll change the display because it's not gonna be used as. Um, as the patch back and forward. So it only turns that effect on and off. So we need to go back hmm. to welcome to, here's, remember first patch. So 
it's obviously turning something on and off in here as well, isn't yep. it? Sorry, here. So let Edit. me go on here. Yeah, effects. So it's turning. So you can see now it's turning effects, delay, and reverb on and off. So you can just sign. Holy smoke! So you can assign all that stuff. I mean, that's a great preset. So even somebody in my age, <laughs> with my eyesight <laughs> and my back, can make a good preset on a, on a thing like this. In barely any time. Yeah, well. in yeah. barely any time. It was at least two <laughs> hours before we figured it out. You know what? I'm really impressed with this, man. Nifty little. I think yeah. size-wise, it's just hard to beat, isn't it? It's how much is it? Um, Do you know? Let's have a look. Price check! I've got a mm -mm price of two hundred and nineteen ninety nine here. So, pl but please take the links below for yeah. that, so because it could change, something could change, and you know whenever it comes out. But and we've only you know really scratched the surface. There's a drum loop, the you know drum machine looper, all of it. Drum you know? here. So we play out. We'll do the same thing again. Let's we'll play it. out. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell while you're down there. Ping! And we'll see you next time. In a bit. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>